In the next part, I'm going to discuss the atom. In the lecture, um, you will have all the history about Dalton's atomic, atomic theory, the um, um, Rutherford experiment, and all that. But in here, we're just going to go straight to the um, subatomic particles. There are three subatomic particles, protons, electrons, and neutrons. In an atom, we have the nucleus, and inside the nucleus, we have the protons and the neutrons. Outside the nucleus, we have the electrons. Protons have a positive charge, electrons have a negative charge, neutrons have no charge. When we represent a number in the periodic table, in, in the periodic table, we are given the atomic number. What is the atomic number? The atomic number is specific for each element, and it's the same for all the atoms in that particular element. It's going to be equal to the number of protons in the atom and usually appears either above or on the corner in a periodic table. So when we see sodium, we know that the nucleus of sodium has 11 protons. All the atoms in an element are neutral, meaning that they have a net charge of zero. Therefore, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So if we see aluminum and we see that it has 13 protons, we know immediately that for the atom to be neutral, it must have 13 electrons. The mass number represents the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus of the, mole of the atom. So if we look at the periodic table, we see zinc, it has a mass number of 65. Um, when we look at zinc, the atomic number is 30, meaning that that is the number of protons. In order for us to identify the number of neutrons, we'll take the mass number, which is 65, minus the number of protons, and that will give us the number of uh, neutrons, which is going to be 35. If, instead of having 35 neutrons, it has 37, then what will be the mass number? Well, the mass number will be 30 because it would always have 30 pl protons plus the 37 neutrons that we just had. I circle this, sorry. So the answer will be 67. Isotopes are, are atoms of the same element, but they have different mass number. Since we cannot change the number of protons in an atom, the only thing that we can change will be the number of neutrons. So isotopes are, um, are atoms that have the same number of protons, but they have different amount of neutrons. So in order for us to specify which isotope we're using, we need to write the mass number in the upper corner and the atomic number in the lower corner. So, for example, when we look at this, we see carbon 12, 6, number of protons is going to be 6 for all of them. The number of electrons is going to be 6 for all of them. This is 12, so this carbon has 6 neutrons. 6 plus 6 gives you 12. This one over here is hard to see, but this one is a 13. Therefore, this one has 7 neutrons, and this one over here is a 14, and this one should be 8. Please notice that there is there is a little typo here in the in the slide, so it should be a 13 here and a 14 written here.
For nitrogen, we have nitrogen 15. The atomic number is 7. Mass number will be 15. The number of protons is equal to the, num the atomic number. So it's 7. Number of electrons is equal to the number of protons because it's neutral. The number of neutrons is going to be the mass number minus the number of protons, which in this case will be 8. For calcium, we have calcium, the atomic number is 20, therefore we have 20 protons and 20 electrons. The mass number in here is 42, so we'll have to take 42 minus 20, that will give us 22. This element, they are not telling you which element it is, but they are telling you that it has 50 um, protons, that therefore that is the atomic number and also the number of electrons because they are neutral. The mass number will be the number of neutrons plus the number of protons, so that's 120. And what we have to do is look at the periodic table, element number 50, and in this case we have tin, and we just grab tin 120. Same thing here. This element, they are not telling you which element it is. Atomic number, that's equal to the number of protons. Number of electrons, because it's neutral. Mass number is 37, so we do 37 minus 16. That gives you 20. We look at element number um, 17, and that's chlorine. And we just write chlorine 37.